I'm Amelia Bordeaux, welcome to Market Compass. Today, I'm gonna to teach you about positioning and why it's important for initiating your trade. Let's take a look at institutional positioning for the yen. It's up on the big screen. You can see it's quite long. Here is the zero line. This chart is historically back to 2011. And you see that yen positioning is really extended. Long yen positioning is extended. So what does this mean for you? It means that you've probably missed the bulk of the yen appreciation. That took place with this turn down here when investors were short and then got really, really long. So this is when the bulk of the appreciation in the yen happened. Does it mean that the yen won't appreciate further? No, it doesn't mean that at all. But what it does mean is that if you're initiating a long position up here, you have to be cognizant of sizing your position because you did just miss a huge run up. Why have investors been long yen? Well, they've been long because of uncertainty and the yen is a safe haven currency. So that's what they trade typically when the markets are uncertain. The markets have been uncertain about the US elections, about Brexit, and also about the Fed, when they'll hike and how much they'll hike by. Let's take a look at our second example. It's sterling. These data, by the way, uh, for institutional investing positions are released weekly. Here we go, sterling. Wow, let me put in the zero line so you can see it because institutional investors, as you would imagine with Brexit, are very, very short of sterling. Net short positions in sterling, that's the red line zero. Look at how short um, institutional investors are. So what does this mean for you if you wanna in initiate a short sterling position? Well, you can see sterling has already fallen quite a bit. The positioning has been short for some time. And if you initiate a short position down here, you could be in for a nasty short squeeze. That happens when investors decide to take profit by going long sterling after they've been short sterling and sterling suddenly appreciates and your short position goes right in your face. Short squeezes are nasty, nasty trading and they happen very quickly. So if you're going to initiate a, a short sterling position down here or in general in any currency when positioning is so stretched to the short side, you have to be cognizant that there could be a short squeeze. And I would urge you to wait until that short squeeze happens. And once that bounce comes, then short the currency. But we'll go into short squeeze trading in more detail in another video. For now, let's stick with positioning and we're gonna look at our last example, which is Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar is neutral positioning. I'll put in the zero line for you. Here we are. So institutional investors are just short a little bit of Canadian dollar you see here on the big screen. Not much, they're basically positioned neutral. So this is good news. This leaves you free and clear to take any direction position on Canadian dollar you want. Now, how do you know what that position is? Well, you're free to use your fundamental analysis, you're free to use your technical analysis, or a combination of both. So you're really free and clear when a currency is positioned neutral to go ahead and think your thoughts and plan your trade. Okay, well that's it for today's examples. You had three good ones and I'll see you at the next video.